Today on this 2009 Dodge Ram 1500 series pickup, we will be installing the WeatherTech mud flaps, front and back, part number WT110024-120024. We're going to start our installation with the front mud flaps and we're going to start on the driver's side. The first thing we want to do is go ahead and turn our front wheels all the way to the left to maximize the clearance in between the tire and the fender well. Next we want to locate our mud flap and actually on the back side you'll see that they're marked LH for the left hand side and RH for the right hand side. We want the LH one for the driver's side here. Before we get our installation started we want to make sure that this area is nice and clean so that the grind doesn't build up in between our mud flap and our fender well. The mounting holes we're going to be using for our mud flap are going to be this one here into the existing hole here in the fender well and we're going to actually remove this screw here from the bottom and reuse it to help install the mud flap. And with the screw removed, we can go ahead and put our mud flap in place. You can see that the cutout here in the mud flap is going to match the contours of the vehicle. And then I'm just going to go ahead and reinstall the screw through the hole here. We don't want to fully tighten that just yet until we get all the fasteners in place. Next, we'll take one of the Phillips headed screws that are provided with our mud flaps and a flat washer. And we're going to insert it into the hole here that aligns with the top of the mud flap. On the inside of the, the ridge there, we're actually going to want to insert the flange hex nut here. We're going to do that using a, a boxed end wrench. And I'm just going to cinch that up for the time being. What we want to do now is just to go ahead and place the mud flap exactly where we want it. You'll notice that the holes in the mud flap were elongated so that we have some adjustment here. And this part's just going to come down to personal preference. Once we get it where we want it, we can go ahead and start tightening up the fasteners. All right, we do have the option of mounting the mud flap with a third hole as well. And you can see here at the inboard side, we've got an existing hole in the mud flap. If you are wanting to use this hole, you will need to drill it out. And what we just need to do is take a quarter inch drill bit and run it through there and then take some of the provided hardware with the installation kit and go ahead and fasten it to that section as well. And with all the fasteners in place, the uh, driver's side mud flap is installed. We just want to repeat that procedure for the passenger side and your front mud flaps will be done. And then moving back to the rear mud flaps, uh, again I'm going to start over here on the driver's side and again with these mud flaps we want to make sure the area is nice and clean before we get started. For the driver's side, again, we're going to be using the mud flap that's got the LH on it for the left-hand side. You'll notice that we don't have any hardware that comes with the mud flaps, and that's because we're going to be reusing existing bolts here at the fender well. We're going to be removing the screw here and this one here as well. So let's go ahead and remove those first. And you'll notice that the contours of the mud flap will match up to the contours of the vehicle. So we can just place that on there and go ahead and then loosely install our hardware. And with those kind of hand tightened, I'm just going to kind of manipulate the mud flap to get it where I want it to where it matches perfectly with the lines of the vehicle. And then we go ahead and tighten these down. And with those tightened down, again, we just want to move over to the passenger side and do the same thing. And our mud flaps will be installed. And that will conclude the installation of the WeatherTech mud flaps, part number WT110024-120024.